when you, your face dips into water around about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, you have um, a pair of uh, cranial nerves, which are your fifth cranial nerves, called the trigeminal nerve. And that's responsible for what's known as the dive reflex in mammals. And if that nerve gets stimulated by cold water around about 50 degrees, the response is your heart rate plummets really fast, very, very quickly, and it goes down very low. So for example, at the moment, my heart rate might be resting at say 60. If I plunge my face into cold water, it drops to about 40 in a couple of seconds. Now what goes on at the same time, if you dive into, into cold water and that reflex is established and you're trying to swim hard, then your body is trying to raise your water temp your, your heart rate at the same time as the dive reflex is trying to drop it. And you go through all sorts of strange responses like lightheadedness, anxiety, and you, you feel as if you're totally anaerobic immediately. And so there is a way around this. So what you need to do is just stimulate that nerve um, gradually, either by putting your face in the water and leaving it there for a while, but you've got to breathe, of course, out, or you just keep um, putting water over this nerve area. If you do, your heart rate will drop naturally through the mammalian dive reflex, and then slowly start to build the heart rate up before you start swimming, swinging your arms, just moving around a lot, and then start swimming very slowly, getting yourself ready. Once that reflex has been through, then you're back to normal. Is there any long-term damage that some of the swimmers can sustain, whether it's to their, their hands, their toes, or their face? Not in 50 degrees. Um, the only damage, and this is not joking, but the only real damage would be death. If you don't die, there's no real damage. 50 degrees is not, it isn't cold enough to sustain um, life-threatening things like uh, frostbite. But um, you can get hypothermia. Um, the end result of hypothermia is death. So you, there's no long-term damage unless you consider death to be the ultimate one. And how long is it going to take before you can start feeling your hands and toes again? <laughs> I mean, I did this event a few years ago. For me, it was 20 miles into the bike, and that was a long time, but I'm, I'm fairly lean. It's once again, it's an individual thing, mm -hmm. but um, don't expect to be coming down that hill with much sensitivity if, you, if you're not prepared for cold water. It's all about your conditioning. If you've done some cold water conditioning, you've got a good chance. If this is your first time, you better wear some extra clothes, a lot more than you think at the beginning of this bike. As we plummet down the hill, you get your speeds up, the ambient temperature might be fairly cold. It's gonna take a while to warm up for some of these guys.